Since my last Halo video with an assault rifle only challenge, what the f- Alright, hold on. Since my last Halo video with an assault rifle only challenge was well received, 35 views is well received for me, I thought that it deserved a sequel where I can really show off my assault rifle skills. So this time I wanted to try Sierra 117. This one should be especially hard because of two words, jackal snipers. And I also decided to modify the rules in order to stay true to the way of Master Chief. Canonically, Master Chief's favorite weapon is the assault rifle, despite its ineffectiveness and in the majority of the cutscenes in the Halo franchise, excluding Halo 2, they showcase the Master Chief wielding an assault rifle. Therefore, for this challenge, I will only use the assault rifle, which means that I can only kill enemies with the assault rifle and no other weapon in the game. So no grenades. Melee hits are fine because, after all, Master Chief clearly bashes his enemies with the butt of his assault rifle. So he's technically killing them with his assault rifle, just not with its bullets. With that introduction out of the way, I immediately make my first mistake by forgetting how to kill this brute up on this ledge. I know that you can sneak up on it somehow, but I just forgot. My second and most crippling mistake was blazing through my ammo as soon as I could. I was the definition of, so anyway, I started blasting, which I would regret later. Finally, my third and probably most fatal mistake, if I didn't already mention that, was relying on the Xbox and Xbox Live app to keep my recordings intact. Yeah, I'm too cheap to buy a capture card, and at this point I probably never will. The middle of my gameplay was corrupted, so I have no proof of completing the next three or four sections which took about maybe two hours but after spending a whole whopping over six hours on this challenge I was definitely not going to try it again at least for now all I can tell you is that you should trust me when I say I completed all of the sections up until the jackal sniper part with ease because my balls are just that huge <laughs> okay hold on Okay. Okay. So anyway, I started blasting until I got to the forest full of jackal snipers. I only had about one mag left, so I had to figure out some way to get past them. Eventually, I had to kill myself enough times to go back to checkpoint because I just did not have enough ammo to do anything. But before that, I tried a few tactics that were based on pretty much just luck. I had to hope the Arbiter survived the first headshot he always took at the start of the checkpoint so that I could rush this jackal on the ledge while everyone else filled the Arbiter with bullets and then rush over to this tree to probably kill this other jackal with a punch and after that I was stuck. No matter what I tried, not having any ammo really made everything impossible. But in all the madness, I learned that the Arbiter will actually resurrect and become invincible if I got far enough from him. I don't know if it's a glitch, it probably is a glitch, but I decided to use it to my advantage for this specific challenge. After going back a checkpoint where I had ammo, my new tactic was simple. Shoot the jackals out of the trees and then run far enough for the Ab Arbiter to kill them. After 6 hours, I finally got a checkpoint. But the next challenge was when I completely ran out of ammo and there was this one jackal that was completely unreachable. So I killed the others with the butt of my weapon and hugged the wall to avoid the high one. After that, I was stuck again. No matter what I tried, I could not really kill anything or even get the Arbiter to kill anything, even with his energy sword. I tried backtracking again, but a jackal sniper always killed me before I could get over this cliff. I did it once, but for some reason, after that, I couldn't do it again. I even figured out how to make the Arbiter use another weapon other than his energy sword. When he's dead, just trade out his weapon with something else, and he will use the weapon he dropped when he comes back to life. Unfortunately, even with the Arbiter wielding a ranged weapon, he just couldn't stand the boot shots to the face, and he only came back to life so many times. I wanted to backtrack again, but I just couldn't. So it was absolutely impossible for me to keep going with this challenge. I had no other choice and I had to break the rules and kill the jackals that was blocking me from backtracking with a battle rifle, which took me a few tries. And then I got this much harder shot for some reason. 
After that one, I was like, well, all the other jackals are super annoying, so they all deserve to die by beam rifle. After that, I was able to backtrack enough for the Arbiter to kill all of the other enemies in the area. And by the glory of the rings, I finally found some assault rifle ammo, which was enough to get me through the last section. I gave the Arbiter a sniper rifle, but unfortunately it seemed like he can't use them. I thought that he just couldn't use uh, UNSC weapons, but he was using the battle rifle earlier, so I was just confused. Either way, oh god, my dog. Either way, I couldn't kill the last set of jackal snipers with an assault rifle. They were just too far away, and I thought that if I wasted ammo on them, I wouldn't have enough to complete the section, which I found out was probably not true. Again, with a few tries, I got through the first few sets of enemies by beating them to death to conserve ammo this time, while letting the Arbiter do, arguably, most of the work. When it came to the Brute Chieftain, I used a deployable bubble shield and regenerator to my advantage, tapped on his rear, and proceeded to beat his followers to death. The last thing I needed to do was free Johnson and then fight my way to the Pelican. Easy, right? Sort of. This was probably the easiest part of the mission, despite it taking me a few tries. I had all the ammo I needed, I was able to get two sniper rifles to my marines. My last challenge was keeping the special ops grunt from grenading my marines. After that, I just had to wait for a foe hammer, I mean, an airstrike to take out the last phantom. Then I contemplated hitting Mr. Vadam one last time, got on the pelican, and didn't beat legendary Sierra 117 using only an assault rifle. If I did this challenge again, I'm probably not going to. I would have to prioritize saving my ammo and, the, and my marines. Marines have infinite ammo and a very valuable ability, grenade throw, which can kill a large group of enemies for me. I would have also tried to find a way to make the Arbiter use a more powerful weapon. So far it seems like he can use the battle rifle other than his default weapons. Anyways, that's it. Let me know what other challenge you want to see done in Halo or whatever. It doesn't really have to be Halo. Alright.